any reason to look and feel good, I'll take it. Some things in there I need to address. Okay, I just filmed this look. I did it as a get ready with me to go to meet up with your girls. I did a lot. I'm just going to have coffee. I did a lot, but I was, I just need reasons to get dressed and why not? I know you're going to gag over this outfit. I've had this for two years. It's from Fashion Nova. It's mad cute. It's a very beach vibes type outfit. It's 10 in the morning, but I don't care. Any good reason, any reason to look and feel good, I'll take it. I don't need instructions. Any reason to look and feel good, I'll take it. So I encourage you to look and feel good whenever, how often, however, wh do what you want to do. That's all I care about, just doing what I want to do. I'm going to take you with me, so. Yo, it's 11 in the morning. Let's run that box selector. Anyway, come on. What did my do? What did my try? Hey. All righty, we is here. Pay for my parking. I don't know why these parking meters are so <laughs> challenging for me to figure out sometimes. We here, okay? Hi. You know, I, I don't really. I'm not the most comfortable holding a camera and a mic, but. Obviously, I just need to get used to it and just realize that this is what it is. It, I don't like a lot of attention. I really don't. I, I would love to be able to just walk around and be invisible, but also be holding a camera, right? Like, is that possible? Doubt it. All right, we're going to Sweet Paris. Sweet Paris. They have a lot of sweet things, obviously, but I'm not going to be indulging in that. I'm watching my, I'm watching my waist. Oh, look at the booty. Not the booty, just... Wow, the booty is doing something in the mirror right now, in the reflection. Yes, it's doing a lot right now. <laughs> this has a cute vibe. Hi, sweet Perry. Cutie, cutie. Well, let's go inside. When I sit down, I'll, I'll pick y'all back up again. Lovely. Let <laughs> me all exhaling that aggressively. That was lovely. It felt really good. Like the vibes were vibing. 
and I really enjoyed it. I don't eat this early normally, but I just hey. Okay, so I ate. Oh, it was so good. They didn't season their egg though. <laughs> Yo, these people don't be seasoning their egg. I brought for them. They don't season their egg, but uh, it was still really good. I had an omelet with all kind of veggies and bacon. Oh, it didn't make me stuffed, but I've learned that I don't have to be stuffed in order to be satisfied. So I'm full, and that's what matters. This pink don't really match my outfit, but who cares? Uh, dang, so it's my eye. Bless his name. What's going on? It's probably the glitter in my eye. He is worthy. I can't. I can't do it. I am sure that it is glitter in my eye. My God, today. This glitter is acting full. Okay. I don't do glitter. It's been a long time since I've done glitter, baby. These lashes got to go, too. I can't. Okay, I'm going home right now. <laughs> I'm going home, so we're going we to we uh, do a little inspection on this face. Okay, it is 1 o'clock. So, yeah, I had the egg, and, ooh, they had this delicious toast on the side, but discipline self-control i didn't touch the egg but it's important to have discipline and self-control i haven't always had that so to have it it's like oh okay lord i see this is possible it just takes intentionality and here i am being intentional something's in my eye he is worthy i need oh excuse me looking like a a, a psycho <laughs> i need to wash my car i'm going to go home i need I need to check my email. I need to, there's some things in there I need to address. Contracts and things I need to address. And then I need to go to the post office. I have packages and then I need to mail, a pa uh, I need to mail packages. And then I need to go pick up knee from school. And then we gotta see what else was, what else is popping tonight. Cause mommy don't look good for no reason. Mommy looks good because she's ready to start the weekend. I, I feel, I feel like going to Sephora. Why is that? Why is that? Like, you know how you just want to, on a weekend, go to the mall? I don't go to the mall. But I want to go to Sephora. You know? I just want to go to Sephora. I don't know why I have everything that I need. What else could I possibly need? You see? Oh, let me touch up my fragrance before I get home so my husband can be like, babe, what is that? You smell good. This is the Fenty fragrance that I broke down because you know how I do. Look at her. She is almost done. I've only had her in here. Fenty haven't been out that very long. I've only had her in here for, what, a week, two weeks? Two weeks now. Mm -hmm. Praise his name. And I'm going to touch up. I already drenched myself in Fenty. Carmen didn't say anything, but she knows she smelt it. <laughs> Carmen, what happened? Because huh? you didn't say anything. You know good and well when I when I gave you a hug, you smelt this Fenty. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. So, yeah, I'm about to go home. So, my husband can be like, oh, baby, you smell good. What is that? Because <laughs> he already said my yummy wife. Yes, yummy. <laughs> All of it. All of it is yum. <laughs> I'm annoyed. Listen, it's Friday and I'm ready to swing. Pick up my girls and hit the party thing tonight. Whoa, it's all right. Oh, I just feel good, you know, and I just have so many girlfriend conversations that we need to have. I'm going to do them as chit chat, get ready with me because there are so many different topics, but I just feel good. And I feel like we, all oh, not, hold on. Not the wax center. What happened? Hi. Hello. Hello. This yes. Hi. Hi. I'm calling from European Wax Center. I'm calling to confirm your appointment for tomorrow at 11 a.m. Would that appointment time still work, ma'am? Yes, I'll be there. Yes, ma'am. Just making sure. And thank you, and have a great day. All right. Thank you. Bye. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Cause you know your girl gonna get her wax tomorrow. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom, that cannot be shaken, in the name of Jesus. Where was I? Where was I? Chit-chat, get, chit get ready. That sounds like chit-chat. Chit-chat, oh, oh, wow. Yeah, he's able. So chit-chat, get ready, it means I have different topics to talk about. Girl stuff, girl, girl stuff. <laughs> I'm irritated, once again. Girl stuff because mama feels good and being dressed up looking good plays into that and we gotta talk about it some more we talked about it a little bit but there are different facets of the conversation that we still need to have because it is just important i loved the lunch we just had it's great to catch up it's great to just 
talk have girl talk and all of that and now i'm going home so yes this conversation is done thank you very much we're going to for little's yeah, market what's it disney and it smelled, and it smelled? And it smells. you were like hi felito i have ten dollars and quarters i want all the candy you have here <laughs> okay oh wait no that's okay this month i have the meat market my stick to smell yo remember Felito's remember you went and spent all your birthday money at felito's market remember when we lived in lincoln <laughs> that was our thing right <laughs> And the fact that the guy sold it to you goes to show that the guy's a scumbag. So that's exactly my, why did you get mad at me? You should have got mad at the store owner. Because he's a scumbag and he sh sold a five-year-old kid I, I don't even gum that, for $50. I, I, I actually went there because I was drunk there. I, and I remember who, I don't know if it's, no, Kay was teaching me how to ride a bike. And Lincoln and you would like, I would call and you would laugh at me. Yeah, I was a little bit troubled. I was a troubled <laughs> child. <laughs> I needed I needed therapy at that time. I bet you said, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was I was troubled. I I was. I don't know why I would do that. I don't know what possessed me. It was it was problematic for sure. I do. Should I apologize right now? Are you? Will it help you heal and move on? Okay, so you were okay with me bullying you? No, not at the time. Okay. So you you have you have healed. You have moved on. Yeah. Okay, because if you need me to apologize right now, I'm happy to do that. No, I don't think I have. I, this is only for a limited time. No, no, I'm fine. I don't think I have any childish Wow, you are blessed. Like, not that I can, unless I'm like, needed and I just don't have to block it out, but not. I just had my wax you know it's been what six months now or so I have no idea it's not as painful as obviously it was the first a few locations the rips on a few locations do hurt like heck but some places didn't hurt too bad <laughs> the hair the hair doesn't grow back nearly as much as it would if I wasn't doing this and I really do enjoy it my is she an esthetician? Yeah. My esthetician is just so sweet and professional. And Girl, when I get off the table, that's, that sounds like so bad. When I get off the table and I'm putting my clothes on, there's a mirror right there. And I've never asked her why. Like, are people standing there and examining their vagina to make sure that she got all the hairs out? I'm not about to do all that. Because, number one, I'm very conscious of the fact that we talk, We have talked about this. The donk is donking. Yes, yes, yes. So here I am putting on my shorts and my donk is like right there. It's like, I don't want to look at all this right here in front of you. Like, this is just like strange, you know? So I don't be checking out anything. I don't know why that mirror is there. I'm going to ask the next time, like, why is the mirror right there? For what reason? To watch ourselves get dressed? I don't get it. Do we need this? I don't think so. Anyway, all right. I got a car wash. I need to get gas. I just got my <laughs> spot waxed. You know what I'm saying? And I'm hungry, but not but. And I'm going to go home. I wonder if I should get a smoothie. You know I love me a good smoothie. You know, you know how that goes. Now that this is done, I do feel relieved. This is a good thing. Let's see what else is gonna happen.
the half up you know not half up this whole up situation right this lip is the nima tang what's the color zoe the lip the lip good lip look at my face i had a rosacea breakout from a product that i just tried started using i used it one time i know exactly what it is it's by bosha it's in my bathroom i'll show it to you at some point i'm going to give it away i'm so irritated it was a new product and that is the only new thing that i've introduced in the past week so I know that that's it. And so this is a reminder to always in introduce things into your routine one by one. Or yeah, I should have done one by one, but I did two by two. So it's a it's a coupled product. It's a serum and a moisturizer. So now I don't know which one is which, but honestly, I have so many products to try that I'm going to just get rid of both of them. There's no need for me to try and see which one it is. It doesn't matter. But I tried the two of those. I think it was last night, actually. And here I am with the rash. Thank God the rash isn't terrible. It, it's not as bad as it could be. It could be a lot worse. It has, my my irritation breakouts have been a lot worse. So this is not the worst it could be. I'm getting ready to go to a soccer game right now at the BBVA Stadium, Dynamo game. I'm not gonna bring my vlogging camera though. It's a family event. So I will be vlogging, family, family vlogging, which doesn't go on. It's not for public, it's not for public consumption. It's for our own consumption. But I'm about to go do that, which is fun. Family night on Saturday, and we gonna talk. We gonna talk another time. I I'm not sure I'll put stories up, but not. On the sweater I wash it and I put it on like almost every day sweaters are good because we keep it cold in this house hi sun in my face listen this breakout oh god I tell you the Lord be looking out for me because when these breakouts happen at least as of late I don't get breakouts often you you've seen that right like thank god for that right only when I have an irritation to a product as far as me breaking out on a routine basis, those days have been far gone because 
I am much better at my skincare regimen and I'm very consistent with what I do so that doesn't happen. This is specifically because of a product that I use that I'm still going to show you it's in the bathroom. It's not next to me right now. It. I just thank the Lord that when these breakouts have been happening lately, they're not around the time where I have to film content or, yeah, because although it is what it is, I'm not hiding from the fact that I have rosacea. I don't need that to be my content that a brand is paying for. Uh -huh, like, hello. So I'm just like, oh my goodness, this is day, I broke out on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, so this is day three of the breakout by tomorrow it should be a lot better in fact by tonight it should be a lot better i <clears throat> normally get my prescription from my dermatologist let me show it to you in case you're curious just looks like a rash but it's rosacea i don't have the redness but i do have this whole entire rash and on the forehead i do get my prescription from my dermatologist but I decided to actually go with Curology because I used them last year, as you may know already if you've been here for some time. And it's a nurse practitioner who prescribes the same thing that my dermatologist prescri prescribes and it's cheaper. The, the prescription is cheaper and they don't need insurance. So I ordered Curology yesterday. I hope it comes quickly. I need my current prescription ran out. So my current prescription is just for clindamycin lotion, which is the antibacterial topical treatment for the rosacea. However, the Curology prescription that the nurse practitioner prescribed to me to last year has clindamycin lotion in it, clindamycin in it. It has niacinamide in it. It also has tretinoin in it, which is prescription grade retinol, which is great for skin cell turnover. It is like <laughs> very strong. I only use my prescription medicine for my skin every other day because of how strong this stuff is. No need to do it every day, especially since I'm always trying different products out. I need my skin to not be so sensitive every day. So that intermission is important. But now that I'm about to be using the tretinoin, even more so, it's drying, but it's good. It's fantastic. Everyone should be using retinol. Like you just need to get it. Obviously, the prescription strength one is if you have some kind of an acne issue or whatever. Talk to your dermatologist. Many times people want me to curate a, a skincare playlist, if you will, for them. But it's important that if you have an underlying issue like acne or rosacea, psoriasis, it's like you need to get a dermatologist. All the things that I use, obviously, over the counter are supplemental to my core, core required product, which is my prescription clindamycin which will now be the clindamycin trend just my act well, how you say it my treatment okay because that's important that's at the bottom of all of this stuff if i never touched a skincare product from any of my drawers ever again in my life my treatment will hold me down if i just did my treatment and vaseline <laughs> i would be fine but of course adding in all the other stuff just adds to the awesomeness of my skin, the smoothness, the clarity, all of that. But the, the treatment is where it begins, okay? So make sure you have a dermatologist if you're experiencing any skin conditions. If your skin is fairly fine, but just dry, stick with the, the stuff, you know, the over-the-counter type stuff. But if you got something like usually most of us have, like, like I said, acne, dark spots, whatever else, get a dermatologist I wish Curology would sponsor me because <laughs> what they got going on is actually pretty good it's affordable what was it 20 30 bucks for a two-month supply that's cheaper than my my prescription through my insurance when I go through my doctor and then they be wanting to do I mean they gotta get their money you know what I'm saying they're trying to bill our insurance to get their office visit rate but it's like, yo, nothing has changed. Just read for my prescription. You don't need to see me again. <laughs> like, stop. Leave me alone. No, when they want to see you again, they get to bill your insurance, honey, and get that payment. Just give me my prescription, jaw. Nigeria, Nigeria, anybody said jaw. Jaw, give me my prescription, jaw. <laughs> oh, go to Missy. Okay. All right. I just came back from the carpool line. You feel what I'm saying? And I am about to start my day. I've been up since 4, actually it was 3.45. And then I decided, well, since 4 o'clock is my wake-up time, let me just stay awake. No point in going back to bed and making it harder for me. There's no point. So I got up at 3.45. I did my devotion, read Miracle Morning, 
and it was talking about visual visual yeah, visualization hey that's a word for you visualization and i then worked i created two thumbnails for youtube videos that are going to go up i also edited the vlog i uploaded more footage for the vlog but i didn't get to edit too much of that creating the thumbnails was important because those are the videos that are going to go up soon i'm so happy i'm really ahead on videos which makes me so happy and then i what was i doing let my let my candles you know sephora has candles like since when sephora they sent this to me in my sephora squad box this is okay so apparently i love musk scents fenty's a musk and i love me a musk baby this is a musk scent this is unwind by sephora this is just so good this is eight ounces for twenty dollars i believe or nineteen dollars something like that this is really good Forever Mood, I'm gonna say first one. Forever Mood candle is 10 ounces for 30, what, $36? Voluspa, love their candles. Nest, I think their candles are like 10 ounces for like 30 something dollars. Anyway, this is really good. This is really good. The labeling is very minimal. I don't know how the purple goes with the musk. I'm thinking like a dark color would go with it, but I know that colors have meanings when companies are branding themselves. If you know about branding, colors have meanings. They evoke a feeling from people when we see it. It's like the yellow with McDonald's or the orange with KFC or, oops, excuse me, or the, was it, is it red with Walmart or blue? Blue with Walmart and so on and so forth. What is going on? So yeah, the sun is acting up. But yeah, colors have meanings. I don't know what purple means, but anyway. Yeah, so Sephora has candles, praise the Lord. Those are some PR about boxes excuse me giveaway boxes that i'm gonna mail away four of those they're 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 pretty full too they're pretty full baby mm -hmm. i'm gonna mail those this week praise his name some products here on my desk that products that i want to try out in a video i just set them here to make it easier you're gonna find this either really cool or really annoying <laughs> oh, with the stripes on my face like what in tarnation i could get up and <sighs> close the window close the blinds let's see how long i can tolerate this this is the reason why i don't film early in the morning because the sun is just harsh through my window which is beautiful and when you think about it and what the lord has done with the sun but it's problematic when it comes time for me to record i was looking at some messages and i want to answer them here so questions about how i get up at four in the morning again this might be very distracting to you or you think you might think this is really cool how i get up so early in the morning so here's the thing part of me reading the miracle morning or the miracle morning has incentivized me has encouraged me to do, make the sacrifices that I need to make in order to, li to live the life that I want to live. Before reading The Miracle Morning, however, I had a handle on the 4 a.m. I don't get up at 4 a.m. every single day. That is just unreasonable. I get up 4 a.m. at 4 a.m. as much as I can, as much as I need to. I don't do 4 a.m. on weekends. Why? It's the weekend. I'm tired. I want to rest right but regardless i get up by seven regardless because when he gets up early he's used to it i've explained this before and i'll do it briefly i used to work at a school not a teacher but i worked at a school in admin and i was due there at 7 30 which meant i had to leave home at 6 30 which meant we had to i had to get up at like 4 4 30 to do my glam and all of that and if i wanted to work out also and get an e ready and get in the car by 6 30 to drive and give time to give bring him to school and then go to work so we already had a very early schedule for five years and he's used to that and it doesn't matter if it's a weekend holiday it don't matter he's going to be up by seven as a result i've learned to just continue getting up early without when i was not a mom i was not getting up at four for what i did work at a different job at that time where i had to be at work at i think it was was it also 7 30 was it eight i don't even know but i had a long drive so i would get up at like five ish and that was hard but it doesn't matter so I'm used to getting up early. Not only that, I am a morning person. I don't like to be up late at night. Every now and again, I might be up late because I'm watching a show or just like whatever. I don't have anything pressing happening the next morning, but I do not prefer nighttime. I prefer morning time. I also learned over the years that it's just so peaceful to get up before the house is up to clean up, set a candle, just like set the vibe, pray, just that kind of thing. It just feels good to be the mom that wakes up, mom and wife that wakes up early and just prepares the house so that when everyone wakes up it's like ready for them whether you're going to make breakfast or not we don't do breakfast here and eat breakfast at school we do breakfast on weekends so weekdays 
there's no breakfast but let's say you do coffee you know make a nice fresh brew brewed what you call it fresh brewed whatever of coffee the house smells good it's very fragrant you got your candles going the living room is cleaned up hope usually the night before but if you have to do a little tidy you do that i just love things being clean and orderly so in the morning it's a time to just do all of those things in addition of course to me coming in here doing my reading my devotional which you already know is Joyce Meyer trusting God day by day last year I read the one by Christine Kane it's for the whole year this year I'm doing the Joyce Meyer one which I like they're really short and powerful then my goal is to read because last year I had a goal of reading and I wasn't intentional about it you know how you make a goal and you don't actually write out how you're going to achieve that goal you just made a goal you've wasted your time you have to actually make plans as to how you're going to make that goal come to fruition so i told myself in the morning i will read and sometimes in the evening but honestly the morning is the time so when ideally when i get up i read my devotional i read my book a few pages and then i move into working so i move into checking my email or maybe not because sometimes the email has a lot of things i have to give attention to so then i'll maybe i'll jump into finishing like editing a video like my weekly vlogs ideally i'm editing it every day or every few days so that i'm not having to edit it all of it in one day or all of it on sunday or all of it on friday that's crazy so i have learned from doing vlogs for what, six months now that i need to do it as many times during the week as possible to alleviate at, like having to do it all at the end it's just ridiculous so i'll edit a little bit in the morning if that needs attention or i'll check my email if that needs attention or if there's a video it just depends i'll work for an hour hour and a half in the morning which is great because it sets me up for success because i've got started early as opposed to right now it's nine o'clock and i'm starting to do stuff now i'll discuss that in a second so i do that and then i ideally work out before knee wakes up or I just work out before seven ish because then now with his new school and schedule, we leave home at seven thirty to and I take him to school to be in the carpool line. Okay, so I like to do all of that beforehand. But this morning, for instance, because I got up at four yesterday, today I just wanted to rest. I went to bed at seven yesterday. Here's the thing: when you get up, if you look at your life, everyone's life, I usually we're up twelve hours a day, eight to eight, maybe eight to ten, maybe nine to twelve, whatever, twelve. 14 hours a day. If you get by four, by four o'clock, you're going to be tired. Usually for me, I'm tired. Okay. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm freaking sleepy. But then I'm not going to bed until after that, late after that, because Nina's not going to go to bed until like seven, eight. So it's like, oh Lord, those 4 a.m. days are, are challenging. So yesterday, for instance, I was in the bed like six and I was tired, man. I was falling asleep. So I kept like... I wasn't fully asleep and I would see the clock and I'm like, it's seven something. I'm going to sleep. I got up at nine something to go to the bathroom and I was like, I thought it was like midnight. It was nine. I was like, what? It felt like I was in sleep. It felt like I was asleep for 10 hours. So that does happen. That does happen. The fatigue set, does set in early, but it's all good because I like to go to bed early. Anyway, I don't mind going to bed at eight o'clock. What am I doing? What does the world have for me at 9, at 9 p.m.? Nothing. Now, there are times where I go to bed at 9, 10. It just depends. So it's not a four o'clock every single day situation. I'm not in the military. I just go based on what I have to do and just like what's coming up. If I know tomorrow is a slow day for me for work or for life, I might just get up at seven, okay? that's not the most ideal because by that time that's when knee wakes me up and I've explained before that I like to get up on my own time because then I have time to myself before I have to be a mom because knee gets up first he gets up before everybody usually <laughs> unless I get up before him so I like to I think it's very important not I think it is very important as a mom to have mom time before you kick in excuse me me time before kicking into gear of being a mom that's what I've learned in five years or six years so that's how that goes and somebody was like oh you should do a 4 a.m routine video that would actually be kind of cool i would need but i need help i don't know it'll be so dark in here it'll be so dark it'd be a dark video like i don't unless people are recording it during the day but then saying that this is my 4 a.m routine <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But what I can say that I really love, one of the many things that I love from this book, Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod, is that he said in the morning when you wake up, 
to do several different things because it helps to wake you up. Before, I used to get up groggy, walk over here and come do everything and I was groggy while doing all of it. Whereas after I read that, it's so good. I tried it yesterday. So you get, he says, get up, drink a bunch of water, do this, do that. I don't want to drink water in the morning. I don't I don't need that. At 4 a.m., that's just too much. So I got up, I brushed my teeth, I washed my face, I changed my clothes into my gym clothes to set me up for success after I had done everything because that's the last thing before getting ready for school. And then I came and I, you know, I lit my candle, I cleaned up a little bit in the kitchen and all that stuff and I came in here. That really was amazing because the dragging in halfway asleep is just not the move being fully awake is the move i felt awake i was like wow this is what i really should be doing it takes effort while you're asleep to come brush your teeth wash your face or rinse your face whatever it takes effort because it's waking you up and it it works it's great so if you're gonna wake up early whatever early is for you do those things and it'll wake you up. You're going to be up. And if you have the energy, even take a shower. Oh, you're really going to be awake. <laughs> okay, you're really going to be awake. I do my shower after I work out and when I, when I whatever. So, yeah, the washing of the face and all that, girl, it, it's going to get you up. Okay, so that those are some of the, the tips or how, I, how I'm able to do it. It really does make a difference in my life when I get started, especially... It just makes a huge difference, a huge difference, huge difference. Because let's say, for instance, I don't get to actually do work work until noon. I've already spent an hour and a half doing work in the morning. So if something goes up, if I have an appointment, a meeting, whatever the case is, if I don't touch my work until 12 noon, I don't feel, I don't feel so behind as opposed to not doing any of that in the morning and then I have a busy morning and then I don't do my work until noon it's like whoa you know maybe there were some emails that were pressing that I haven't even seen and then now it's like oh my goodness I'm scrambling I have 30 emails it's just too much so that early morning really does come in the clutch it does it really is good so here I am today I got up at seven like I said I brought you to school I'm back I have my coffee got my water I'm now going to this is a little backwards today because I got up late. I'm not filming today because my the breakout on my face is still present. I had to I had to reschedule my my photo shoot because I want my skin to be clear before I do it. And for that reason, I'm not gonna film today. I'm gonna just today will be a low low lived day again, which I am not mad about. Okay, I am not mad about that because I had one yesterday too, and I loved it. I was laying down on the couch. I was like, this is this is life. Like what in the world? I work hard. This is life. So today, another low type day. I'm gonna check my email. I'm gonna do my devotion. I'm gonna. I really should be doing my devotion first, but I did make sure that I, like in the morning, I don't just get up and go on my email and stuff. I used to do that. Those days are over. I get up. I pray. I listen to Grace for Purpose or Above Inspiration, something inspirational, Bible-based to get my, to focus me out. And I'm not just about to get up and start listening to what's happening in the world. That's just too much. I've already done that. So I've already like conditioned my mind to be like free and not all, I don't know how to, how to say it. But yeah, email, devotion, book a little bit, workout, gonna do that and shower and then just chill it out today. I do need to edit the vlog edit oh gosh i need to edit some ig videos too like sick anyway yeah so that's what i'm doing right now the sun is moving it is moving it's not in my face so much anymore but hopefully that answers your 4 a.m questions hey, you made a permanent home in my head you moving like a goddess come my way my way my way your hips on the move only a real one can do what you do Body, but you was the shooter yeah. Shot me down one time, one time Wanna hug me down a long time Funny how the love can change sometimes So we say, hey, pack up a bag yeah, and so seeing all these is just, it just makes me think like it's almost going to be Christmas time. This, these pen stripes, like is it Christmas time yet? Oh my goodness, it's still August, this is sick. I like these sleep shirts, but here's the thing. I don't usually wear a bra to bed and I, because this is so soft, the nips be nipping and I don't, I don't be into that. I don't like the everywhere vibe. It's not my thing, but these look so cute. I'm going to get some pajamas. I love the PJ. Ooh, now I love pink. 
This is calling my name right here. Ooh, it's XL, so I love my pants to be nice and loose on me. Definitely getting these, hold on. Yup, I like them to be loose. I'm getting this. And let's see if they have my stuff. Oh my God, it's medium. No, oh, it's a set. These are set for shorts, uh-oh. So I can't buy it separately? Okay, we have a problem. We have an issue here. Let me show you my world. Show me that I make her feel alive. Oh my goodness, this candle's amazing. This is up my alley for sure. Oud, are you kidding me? It smells like a candle that I smelled before. I'm not sure if it's Nest, if it's Feluspa, if it's Forever Mood. This I've smelled before and this is good. Like what? And this section is just so cute, isn't it? Like I just wanna buy all of them. I just love me a good candle. What? This is amazing. Okay, I don't know what happened to my cart. <laughs> Things just fell inside. But there's no Target run without coming to the beauty section. It's just like not possible. So let's see what I can find. <laughs> All right, I'm looking for some whitening toothpaste. Should I get the charcoal one? What do y'all use? I know I do whiten, it's been a while, but I want a whitening toothpaste to be using in the meantime. What do I get? Optic white with charcoal or advanced? Let me get advanced. You know, I do the eucalyptus farms subscription. New box came in. This is the old eucalyptus, which was hanging in the bathroom. And I just attached to the new one. First of all, love my new sapo. This is the Ghana sapo. It's an exfoliator, basically. It's what we use. We use it on children, adults, the whole nine. I got a white one straight from Ghana recently. Love that. That's how I just rigged it. You feel what I'm saying? With a hair tie at the top. This is fresh. Smells good. When the shower water comes down, it the aroma is so relaxing. Link below if you want to subscribe. 20 bucks a month. It delivers right to your door. Love the ease of it all and this is such a great touch for the shower all right so here are a few things that i got from target that i may not have shown you i'm not i don't remember but i'm gonna be using this because why not i'm also gonna use this on nini's teeth because you know even as a child stains i just don't like stains okay this i never tried to comment and let me know this was the darkest color they had 375 Hopefully it fits me because you know I got a tan. I'm gonna try this out. Let me know if you try this. And then LA Girl is an old Ziba goodie, honey. I got rid of mine during my declutter. I got Fawn this time. I used to use Toffee, but since I got darker, Fawn will be better for me than Toffee. That's just too much. Dental floors, honey. That's just important. That's important. This, I have the bottom to this already. I just never got the top. So I was like, let me just go ahead and grab that. I'm gonna link all this stuff below. It is so cozy i can't even explain it then this one is equally as cozy stars above i like it to be oversized so i got a 2x then i got this real cute black pajama slit you're gonna see me in it slip slit what do you call it girl i don't know <laughs> then i got these jeans they're just basic dark gray almost black type skinny jeans from target and then i got these Levi jeans, never had a pair of Levi's, got these, they look just like the ones that I always wear. I always get questions about it, gonna wear it actually today in my photo shoot. So now when I wear it, I can actually give you a link to them, you gonna see that. And then I picked up this random dress, girl, talk to be getting me, $15, why not? It was just like a basic, wear with a jean jacket, it's cute, mm -hmm. All right, I told you I'd show you the products that broke me out. This is one of them that I tried, that was new, Bosha. Plant Stem Cell Ceramide Barrier Defense Moisturizer. I find it hard to believe that this was the it, but I tried this in addition to another one at the same time. So I don't know if it was this in particular, but it was one of these. So I'm just not going to use either of them. Okay, and here's the other one. I think this was the culprit, 0.6% Pro Retinol. Maybe it was too strong. I don't know, but uh, retinol is a very, it is a product that we have to be careful with. I did use it at night. I did do it the right way. It might just be too strong for my skin. So this doesn't mean that Bosha and All is a terrible company or brand. It just means that this product or both of these did not agree with my skin. They might agree with someone else's skin, but just not mine. Mm -hmm.